a very good morning and jai hin everyone so let's begin today's class with a fresh topic in today's class ma'am is going to teach you a creative writing section and that is article writing okay so this article writing is quite different from the writing section that you have learnt before we have done uh, letter writing descriptive writing paragraph writing story writing we have done all that but today's topic this article writing is bit different children how it is different okay let's compare it with the other writing sections okay like in letter writing how do you write a letter you discuss about your personal problems you do hi hello talk about the health issues if you want any one suggestions from your family members or the relatives or the friends so you talk about that you give a brief description about your personal things your personal progress your personal issues so letter writing is somewhere related to an individuals personal life okay same as when we write a story so we create something fictional imaginary okay there that gives a moral same as when we write uh, uh, an essay on a topic uh, so we describe that thing suppose if you are talking about or writing an essay on a tree or any other object so you described uh, about its appearance how it looks then you talk about its usage uh, how uh, fruitful it is for you how is essential it is for you then you talk about the problems related to that if we don't have that if its availability is not possible then what problem you are going to face then you talk about its conservation that how you can possess it for a long time so in this way we do the essay writing but today we are going to do article writing the articles writings are always written on social economical cultural issues means they are never ever fictional they are always factful authentic means whatever is going on around you like uh, what problem you face in the society what problem you face uh, at the nation wise means whatever is going on uh, going on around you in the society or the nation okay so we talk about those those issues in article so article writing is entirely different from the other writing sections are you getting my point so here we are going to discuss the issues on the facts and the uh, means the data that we have so what exactly is an article an article is a piece of composition a piece of composition means it is a written material it is not something like a debate or the speech no the articles is a written material a written piece of material and what topics do we uh, use for article writing we take the social issues cultural issues economical issues your religious or the political issues such issues are picked for article writing we never write it on my best friend or uh, my favorite uh, actor or my favorite politician no we don't take such uh, topics what exactly we discuss we discuss about the illiteracy malnutrition child labor women empowerment poverty unemployment agri agriculture a part of that we talk about the per capita income okay and uh, how to make the best use of uh, your time a part of that we sometime the proverbs like uh, the stitch in time say no not in that like uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the prophet miss many many things that are applicable equally on everyone such kind of uh, topics are taken like books as a best friend the importance of education the best time management 
adult education okay so we talk about such issue pollution uh, your uh, plant uh, the natural the conservation of natural resources so such issues are always taken for article writing so article writing is the process of creating a non fiction text non fiction text means whatever information you provide in an article that is always authentic relevant it is not like you uh, you provide any imaginary or baseless uh, information to your reader no we always mention those things that have some proof that have some history or the base okay and basically as i told you the article is always uh, written on the current issues or the items of uh, general interest or specific topics mostly the articles are written for newspaper or and magazines okay children means if you really want to read any article so you can find an article in newspapers as well as in the magazines also nowadays as uh, uh, everything is uh, on uh, you know online so the articles can also be seen on the social platform the social media platform the if we talk about the word limit of an article so normally the articles are the composition of minimum 100 to 120 words and they are always written in a person's own language if the word limit is mentioned in the question so we follow that if it is not then the article should not go beyond 100 to 120 words article should be objective objective means we it must be based on the verifiable facts and figures verifiable means that are proved by the research centers or the different departments sometimes the clues and the informations are provided and the article is developed with the help of given clues only clear so this is this was exactly about the article that what exactly is the article now let's talk about the important tips that we need to take care while writing an article means what is the general guideline for article writing so the first thing that you need to keep remember is that always study the given information or the clues carefully sometimes children with the question means whatever topic you are asked to write on uh, some uh, data or the facts are given to you little information about it will be given to you in the points and you will be asked to write a paragraph on that in the form of article okay so before uh, putting your pen down on the paper read all the uh, information carefully so you get an idea that what exactly you are going to write then second point is point is arrange them in a systematic order after taking the uh, information after reading studying the information now it's time to organize them organize them in a proper manner clear now the third step that you need to take care is develop each point in simple logical manner and use grammatically correct language see while developing those ideas you should as it is uh, asked you to write it in your own language so don't be so complicated with your language try to keep it simple so that the reader would enjoy your uh, while reading would be able to understand because if the reader is not able to understand your uh, language so his interest will not be developed and if the reader is not taking interest so he will not be provoked to read further so if you really want to make your article interesting so you must try to keep your language simple 
and logical and please try to avoid making the grammatical mistakes okay then only you would be able to convey your thoughts properly the fourth point is present your ideas not in a sketchy but in a current and logical manner what is sketchy sketchy means it should not be frictional or any imaginary means your article should not sound like the listener or the reader is listening any fairy tale or any kind of fable no it should be very authentic means it must provide some information to the reader as i told you that articles are always written on the current issues so it should be knowledgeable it must have uh, good information that after reading the reader must realize that he has accumulated some knowledge some information about the related thing okay and it's each and every sentence should be linked properly means every next statement must carry a little uh, thought of the previous the little sense of the previous sentence it should be written in a current manner in a logical manner the third point that you have to take care is develop your writing into paragraphs my dear children articles are always written in paragraph nobody is going to write in points am i clear to you yes it is always done in paragraph so the last point is confine yourself to the given subject superfluous and unnecessary details must be avoided at all cost what does it mean that extra unnecessary information should not be provided in the article writing you must be very clear and concise with your thoughts talk point to point don't talk don't mention any irrelevant things in your article writing it should be very concise very brief and up to the mark no extra silly unwanted information should be mentioned or shared in an article writing am i clear to everyone now let's come to the next part what is that format what is the format and uh, of an article writing so here the first thing that we mention in an article is heading while writing the heading children take care few things the first letter of each word in the heading will be capital what is it suppose your heading is swachh bharat abhiyan so here you can see that s of swachh b of bharat and a of abhiyan is written in capital letter so what does it mean while writing the heading of an article the first letter of each word will be capital and it must be underlined whatever heading you will write that should be very interesting or eye catching means by looking at the heading only the interest of the reader must be developed okay and it must be underlined also the second thing that comes in the format is the writer's name or the byline we also call it byline what is that whosoever is going to write that article that person's name that writer's name will be written below the heading here this suppose this article swachh bharat abhiyan is written by preeti singh so her name will come next to the heading in the center only we are writing this heading at the top center of the page and just below to that my byline will come and what is this byline carrying the writer's name okay now let's come to the body this is the only format of an article writing we mention the heading 
with uh, by underlining it and the first letter of each word will be capital and after that we mention the byline clear now let's come to the body the body consists of two to three paragraphs it's up to you but nobody is going to leave it in single paragraph mind this okay neither you are going to write in points it will be written in paragraph uh, in the word limit uh, limit as i told you will be 100 to 120 now what are you going to uh, write in the paragraph how you are going to organize them so let's come to the first paragraph whatever first paragraph you are going to write that is known as introductory or the opening paragraph so how is that opening para paragraph going to be mind the first thing in this opening paragraph you are going to introduce the theme that on which topic you are going to write the article. So that must be mentioned in this introductory paragraph. So introduce that uh, theme uh, in a very catchy manner, in a very interesting manner that uh, by reading the introduction only, the reader must be, uh, uh, you know, must become curious to read further. So it must be very precise very clear very you know uh, up to the mark in a very well mannered written, should be written in a very well uh, manner way very proper way the word of selection should be good even you can start your introductory paragraph with a slogan or any quotation also so it makes the introductory or the opening paragraph more catchy clear it now, what you are going to discuss in second paragraph? So, in the second paragraph, you are going to discuss the problem. If your topic for writing the article is a problem like illiteracy, poverty or unemployment or child labor. So, in the second paragraph, you will discuss the problem. So, for discussing that problem, you can use the facts or the clues provided to you or in case if no facts or clues are given then you will uh, talk about what is the root of that problem then how that problem is going to give the birth to the other problems how it is uh, affecting the life of the people around then what could be the consequences if it is not going to be checked a part of that you will talk about its ripple effect also that how it could be worst if not uh, no action is going to be taken against it or in the uh, uh, towards the direction of uh, solving it okay so all these things you are going to discuss in the second paragraph now the third paragraph in the third paragraph you can keep your points your own views your own thoughts about that related problem that theme so you can use the compare and the contrast technique means for that uh, just to justify your uh, opinion your thoughts you can provide some data or the records if available or any research work is done on the topic so that you can use as a proof uh, to justify your points and if that uh, uh, topic has any history in the background, so some of the lines from that also can be used to uh, justify your views. Okay. Now, the last paragraph, that is the conclusion part. So, in this paragraph, you are going to sum up your views, your thoughts. Sum up means you are going to uh, offer your uh, suggestions or the solutions if you are talking about any like here my topic is Swachh Bharat Abhyan so here you can express your opinion what do you think about this campaign in your own words okay and if you are talking any issue any problem social issues social evil like illiteracy or dowry or poverty then in that case, you can provide the suggestions 
you can offer your suggestion that if we do this uh, this problem can be solved in, in this way or like that whatever your thoughts are fine here like uh, you can see that i have uh, written the introductory part of the paragraph only okay like uh, as the topic is swachh bharat abhiyan so the prime minister narendra modi launched his nationwide campaign the swachh bharat abhiyan or clean india campaign from the valmiki basti on 2 october 20, uh, 2014 okay this much i think is enough for the introductory part so the person can be curious to read further so let's uh, jot out the things that we have discussed uh, up to this the points to remember and then i will show you some of the samples some of the sample questions that how uh this article writing writing can be done on those given topics fine so the first point uh, that we have discussed is underline heading is a must whatever heading you will write the first letter of that heading must be capital and that heading must be underlined like this clear now the second point that you have to keep remember is the writer's name or the byline where are we going to write that byline just after the heading as here my writer is preeti singh so i have written her name by with the colon preeti singh okay now after that the word limit children must mind the word limit don't exaggerate don't elaborate uh, too much okay be precise with your words with your thoughts and never ever cross uh, the word limit of 100 to 120 the next point is paragraph it is always written in paragraph and single para article writing is not done in single paragraph at least two or three paragraph must be written on the given theme next point you can uh, uh, the next point that you have to care is you can use quotations not more than one or two means to make your article interesting okay to make it more catchy you can add some of the slogans or take the proverb or if uh, uh, the uh, if uh, any a kind of statement has been made about that uh, given theme about any kind of any by the any of the prominent personality so you can use their statement also by using the quotes okay now the next is use easy words and short heading the heading should not be too long okay it should be very very you know in few words use easy and few words it should be written like clear and the last is it should be written in paragraphs not in points because i told you article writing is always done in paragraph form not in points now here is a question you are pramod singh write an article on swachh bharat abhiyan or clean india campaign so here you can use any one of them as your heading whether you write swachh bharat abhiyan or even you can write clean india campaign as a heading and one more thing children mind here here the writer's name is mentioned you are pramod singh here so while writing the byline the same name will be used so here my heading is swachh bharat abhiyan the first letter of each word is capital and my heading is also underlined after that i have mentioned my writer's name by pramod singh now let's read the opening or the introductory paragraph prime minister narendra modi launched his nationwide campaign 
द स्वच्छ भारत अभियान और क्लीन इंडिया कैंपेन फ्रॉम द वाल्मीकि बस्ती ऑन टू अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन एड्रेसिंग द नेशन एट द लॉन्च मोदी आज द इंडियंस टू ज्वाइन द स्वच्छ भारत अभियान एंड प्रमोट इट टू एवरी वन this is this was my introductory now in the second paragraph i am going to provide more information about my topic modi himself swept the pavement at valmiki basti and a colony of sanitary workers launching the campaign modi reminded the people that cleanliness is the is next to godness so here you can see that i have used one proverb just to add extra make it more interesting cleanliness is not only the responsibility of the safai karmachari but also the responsibility of all indians the prime minister assured the nation that swachh bharat abhiyan is beyond politics now my third paragraph is going to start pm also started a social media campaign he invited nine people to join the campaign and they would invite another nine people he invited master blaster sachin tendulkar bollywood star amir khan priyanka chopra salman khan yoga guru baba ramdev and industrialists like ambani now i am going to conclude my words so this is my fourth paragraph children the pm showed his deep concern at mothers and daughters going in the open to relieve themselves more than 60% people in india defecate in the open constructing toilets in schools and villages especially for girls and women would be the top priority for the government the pm pm also pledged to people saying i would not litter and won't allow anyone to do so so this slogan i have mentioned at the last just to make it more beautiful just to adorn my writing my article i have ended it with a slogan clear so you can see that the punctuation the use of capital letter grammar slogan everything is there and the whole article consists of four paragraph so it is fulfilling all the requirements of an article now i have brought one more topic and that is the last value of that sorry the lasting value of books so here you are siddharth ahuja your brother is 6 years old and you want to gift him a set of books write an article in about 150 words under the title the lasting value of books <coughs> so see here again the same thing has been done the heading is written it is underlined and the first letter of each word you can see t of the l of lasting v of value and b of books is in capital and the next line is my by line and who is the writer here siddharth ahuja so his name is mentioned at the place of writer writer's name so let's start here is my introductory that paragraph the opening paragraph books are our constant companions they are great source of knowledge and entertainment books can open up the unknown world to us and familiarize us with the unfamiliar it is fascinating to read about various things that one has never seen or heard about books are the tools with which we can explore the vast world around us thus it is very essential to make a child understand the importance of books now the second paragraph is starting with a, a statement it is well said a room without books is like a body without soul 
One can motivate a child to read books by describing various adventures in books and presenting the child with books instead of toys. A child soon tires of toys which are only a source of momentary attraction. But once the reading habit is inculcated in a child, it will automatically grow and develop. It is a habit that reaps rich rewards for a lifetime. Books have stood the test of time and last forever. They never grow old or change like fashions or toys. Charles Beckleris has stated, A book is a garden, an orchard, a storehouse, a party, a company. By the way, a counsellor and a multitude of counsellors. Their real importance is understood only in retrospection and so have a lasting impact on readers. Thus, we should give a child gifts that last and endure. So here you can see that the word of selection and the way the whole material is organized. It creates the reader's interest for reading. Okay? Now here you can see some of the topics that can be taken for article writing. Here like adult education, importance of physical classes, then advertisements and our life. Virtues of simple living, illiteracy, the root cause of all evils, uh, victory favors the brave. Many more are there, children. I have picked few for you. So these are the some of the to topics on which you can write the article. Even I have given few and so one or two you can pick for your writing. So while writing the article, uh, what are the things that you have to take care of? Let's revise them once again. The heading that should be written with a bold letter in the beginning with the each word. Your heading must be underlined. The byline will be written after the heading. The body of the article will consist of a more than one paragraph, at least two to three paragraphs. The opening paragraph will have the introduction of the theme. The second paragraph will be used to discuss the uh, problem, to develop the content, whatever facts or the information is provided to you. On the basis of that, you will develop your content. In the third paragraph, you will provide your uh, solutions, your suggestion to solve that problem. And in the conclusion part, even the third paragraph only could also be your conclusion paragraph in which you are going to provide your, uh, you are going to offer your suggestions and going to provide the solutions. Okay. And uh, a part of that to make your article interesting, uh, you can add some slogans, some quotations, the sayings of the prominent personalities. A part of that to make your uh, uh, that uh, ideas and the views relevant, you can uh, you can use the data or its uh, background, any information provided by uh, the government or any research work, if any research work is done on the given theme, so you can pick some of the informations from that and can use uh, to justify your points, okay? And please avoid um, using uh, the irrelevant uh, things, Means avoid discussing the irrelevant things and they must follow the word limit a part of that, don't elaborate too much, okay? Discuss the theme point to point only. The selection of the word must be very good, very, uh, you know, it must be of quality. Try to use the good uh, adjectives 
try to add them in your writing that's all i hope you must have understood how to make an article impressive how you can do the article writing in the best way so try some of the topics to write on that's all for today's class children jai hind jai bharat